Hey everybody, so I wanted to do a movie review of the Fatima 2020 movie that just came out the last few days. Uh, when I first heard about this movie, I was extremely excited because uh, as far as Catholic movies go, we don't really have that many, if you think about it. Other than The Passion of the Christ, we have some, you know, off-generic formed Catholic movies, but nothing that's really coming out Hollywood style or you know, with the great effects and showing how beautiful and wonderful our faith and our church is. So when I heard that Fatima movie was coming out, I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. Now, there's a couple of old Fatima movies. There's one made in like 1951. It's built mainly for children. It's a great story, has actually extremely accurate uh, depiction of Fatima and the children, the messages of Our Lady and Hell and all that, all that stuff. Uh, that's a really good movie. Then, I think a couple of years ago, like 2015, 2016, maybe around 2014, I'm not too sure exactly when, but there was another great uh, video that came out called The 13th Day. Now, that is a very accurate depiction of Fatima. I really liked that movie, and what I liked about that movie was it was all in black and white until you got to the supernatural parts. And at the supernatural parts, it would turn color. And it was beautiful. Like their uh, Miracle of the Sun was absolutely mind-blowing. In fact, I saw it tonight after watching the Fatima movie. I saw that one scene of the Miracle of the Sun, and it gave me, it gave me what I call God bumps. It gave me chills. Uh, I was like, oh, this is just amazing. Just absolutely wonderful. It was true to the story. Uh, it was very accurate as far as it goes. Uh, it told the story very well. It showed the miracles very well, things like that. It was well done. I liked the 13th day. And again, I was excited about the Fatima movie. But I've got to tell you, when I watched the movie tonight, I was extremely disappointed. I was so disappointed, in fact, I got up and I left a couple of times. I had to walk away. Uh, it made me angry. <laughs> it, uh, it made me mad. It just really did not make me happy, you know, that someone spent the time to create this movie and they built it horribly. I would say some of it was heretical. I would go so far as to say some of the movie was heretical. Uh, some of the scenes were heretical in a certain sense. Uh, they were not true to the apparitions. They were not true to the miracles. They were not true to the children. They showed the children in a bad light. Uh, I think they showed the church in a bad light. Uh, they created stories that were not even part of the original apparitions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down piece by piece and tell you kind of what happened, what they showed, what was not accurate. And I've got to tell you just right now, do not waste your time on this movie. Don't waste your money on this movie. And I hate to say that if, if the director somehow come across this video, I'm very sorry, but what you did to this Fatima movie was not good. I'm disappointed in you. I am really disappointed in you. All right, so first let's go ahead and start with how the movie starts. So it starts out, it tells a little bit about the story about Fatima, when it happened, the apparitions in 1917. And as it goes through the opening scenes, it starts out with uh, Lucia, or Lucia, however you want to say her name, in a cave. So you're like, oh, okay, what's she doing? Maybe she's playing around. Well, a, a bird flies by and it kind of scares her and she's in the darkness of the cave and all of a sudden she hears a voice and it says, uh, do not be afraid. Um, I am the angel of peace, the angel of Portugal. And out steps this woman with a perm. Okay, a woman with a perm, supposed to be the angel of peace. Now, when the angel of peace actually did appear to the church children, first off, all three children were there. They were outside. They were not in the cave. They were outside, and they were playing a game of pebbles. This is from Lucia's uh, writing, from her own writing, what she wrote in here. They were outside. They were playing a game of pebbles. Uh, they were out with their animals, with their sheep, and uh, they heard a crack of lightning, and they heard the wind in the trees, and then they saw this beautiful light. And this amazing light came down to the, to the ground that they saw. And out of the light, they saw a man around the age of 15 walk out. And he was beautiful, shining bright light, made of light. It was an absolutely gorgeous apparition for them. And that happened in 1916, not 1917 as this movie depicted it. 
So if you remember, the original story, the original apparition of the Angel of Peace was a whole year ahead of the actual Fatima apparitions, which did happen in 1917. Okay, so the movie opens up. They're in a cave. Sorry, not they. Just Lucia is in a cave. And she sees like a bat or a bird fly by and she ducks. And this woman steps out, looks really rather unremarkable in the dark. And she's got a perm job. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, very, very disappointing. So I'm just going to show you this right here. This is from the movie. And you can see this is the angel of Portugal. Just going to mute this. And show you a little bit of this video. A little clip. And that is supposed to be the angel. Then the angel points up and she shows her a war going on. And Lucia looks up and she sees a war. She sees airplanes. She sees battle going on, shooting. Uh, then she sees this uh, man and he's injured in the war. And she, she yells out, Manuel, Manuel. Well, if you remember in the original story of Fatima, it was mentioned extremely small. Um, Lucia, Lucia did have older brothers. I'm not too sure how many. Uh, and it was a very small part of the story. I don't even think they talked about them in the war. But this is a major theme in here. She sees in this vision Manuel in trouble in the war and injured or something like that. And she's yelling out for him. Now, that is totally outside of the original apparition. And that's not even, this didn't even happen. It did not happen in a cave. It was an angel of peace. It was a young man uh, made of light. And when the young man made of light came in, this is what he said. This is from EWTN. This is what the first apparition was. And they, you can see it right here. This is her original writing. Okay, they began to play a game of pebbles. We had only been at it a few minutes when a strong wind began to shake the trees. And we looked up to see what was happening since it was such a calm day and we began to see in the distance above the trees that stretched to the east a light whiter than snow in the form of a young man quite transparent as brilliant as crystal in the rays of the sun as he came near we were able to see his features we were astonished and absorbed and we said nothing to one another and then he said do not be afraid I'm the angel of peace pray with me he knelt bending his forehead to the ground with a supernatural impulse we did the same repeating the words we heard him say my God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. And after repeating this prayer three times, the angel rose and said to us, Pray in this way, the hearts of Jesus and Mary are ready to listen to you. Okay, so that is where this angel left them. And then he, uh, after he said another little prayer right here, he disappeared. And they said, you know, he left us in an atmosphere of supernatural that was so intense, we were for a long time unaware of our own existence. All right, the presence of God, how powerful it was. All right, so we have this, this movie here just starting out incorrectly. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no, what is going to happen? What are they going to do? What are they going to show here? And uh, the first apparition happens. Our lady in the movie here, in the Fatima 2020 movie, our lady walks up. And uh, she walks up, okay? So they hear a clap of thunder. They see some lightning. Uh, and she walks up to them on the ground. In the actual apparitions, she appeared on the tree. She appeared on the tree floating in a cloud, a white cloud, I believe. I I've been to Fatima. I was in Fatima in 1999, made a, made a pilgrimage there. And it had an amazing experience. And there is the original tree right in Fatima the same tree that Our Lady appeared on. They don't even focus on the tree in here. They don't even talk about the tree. The first apparition happened, and Our Lady is wearing makeup, and she's got lipstick on, and she doesn't really look like what you would think Our Lady would look like. Uh, there's no supernatural light. There's no supernatural type of being, anything like that. Uh, anything that you would expect according to the true, you know, the way the true uh, apparitions appeared. Uh, what was also disturbing is people started to come. So at the second apparition, there were a lot of people there begging the children to heal them. They were lifting up metals. They were lifting up pitchers. They were, uh, little kids were injured, and they were asking, hey, can you heal us? Can you heal my child? That didn't happen. 
that didn't happen, all right? The people were there. People were praying with them. But to the best of my knowledge, that never actually happened. Uh, you didn't see that type of stuff happening until later on in the apparitions, maybe number two, number three, number four, or something like that. Uh, what was also disturbing was uh, Our Lady, during the second apparition, said, um, you know, Lucia leaned over and said, hey, this, this woman with her child, her child needs to be uh, healed. That never happened. That did not happen in that apparition. It did not happen. They put that in there. And then Our Lady looks out at this person and she says, I'm going to see if I can find it here on the video. Let me see if I can find this. Okay, so here's the kids. Let's see. If we can come down through here. I'm going to pause this video and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are at this uh, part of the video. And uh, here's the injured child hanging on to his father. The mother's begging him, hey, can you please uh, heal my child? And supposedly Our Lady, well, in this apparition, Our Lady says, you know, if they only believe in me, they'll be healed. That never happened. It just did not happen. Okay, and then what's even more disturbing is this next part. And this is the part where I would say this is, if not heresy, it's very close to heresy. Uh, and I'm going to play this part right here. Okay, so asking the hill, 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 hill. All right. We come up to this part, they turn around, tell the lady, hey, um, even though they're not believing, Our Lady removes a piece of her garment, and oh my gosh, this is just disturbing. Okay, and these nails are in her heart, and she begins to bleed. Okay, and blood is dripping down her garment. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me that this is actually in this video she puts it back up looks disappointed shakes her head at the kids and then what happens all of a sudden the boy gets healed all right looks over the kids are like oh what's going on here she is she looks over she touches lucia and all of a sudden the little boy gets healed that never happened that's awful that is absolutely horrible that is a horrible thing to do. That that never happened. Our lady never had nails coming out of her chest. Uh, that's demonic. I would say it's demonic. In fact, I text one of my priests, and I uh, sent a text message during this, and I said, Hey, Father, uh, do yourself a favor and do not watch this, and tell all your parishioners, do not watch this video. All right, I texted him that because that is just an awful depiction. That never happened. And how many people are watching this movie believing that that happened. They're being educated incorrectly by the movie producers of this video that our lady, that someone didn't believe in her and that Nels came out of her heart and she bled on the ground, shook her head with disapproval, looked back out at the people and then healed the child. Never happened. Uh, and that was apparition number two. Apparition number three came along. Uh, there were just so many instances in this video that were incorrectly done, uh, that were wrong. Like, they made uh, Lucia look like she was doubting. She had all these things with doubts, like she was going to go back. She was going to say it was fake. She was going to say the lady never appeared. When it came down to it, the younger kids, Jacinta and Francisco, convinced her otherwise. No, 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 Lucia, it really did happen. It really did happen. you got to believe. That never happened. Lucia never had doubts about it. These children were very good praying children. They did not have doubts. Uh, so throwing doubts in there was just wrong as well. Uh, the great miracle of the sun lasted about 20 seconds. It was not supernatural looking. It did not look amazing. It did not blow you away. Uh, they left a lot out like when the actual miracle of the sun happened. Uh, it was raining and then the miracle of the sun occurred. Everyone's clothes were dry in the movie. Everyone's clothes look wet. The ground was completely dry in the real miracle. In the movie, the ground looks wet. Uh, healings happened in the real life. In the movie, no healings happened. The healings happened earlier like this uh, that were not accurate. Um, in the movie, the miracle of the sun uh, didn't show Jesus in the sky. In the real apparition, Jesus and St. Joseph and other saints were up in the sky and angels and things like that. There were a lot of supernatural things happening next to the sun. None of that was shown in here. 
Uh, so what do I give this movie? I give this movie a D minus. I give this movie a D minus. In fact, I, I would just go straight ahead and say I gave it an F. Uh, it is a complete 100% fell. And I do not think any Catholic, anybody, should be watching this movie. I think the producers did an absolutely awful job of showing the children. I think they portrayed Our Lady uh, terribly. They didn't show the truth of the apparitions. They didn't speak about the Angel of Peace correctly. They didn't show them correctly. They made a lady look like she came from the 1990s with a perm haircut. Uh, they didn't show, like I said, all of the first apparitions of the angel preparing the children. They didn't show the true apparitions and the way the apparitions should have been done of hell. You know, they showed a little bit. Uh, not much, though. Not really accurate. Um, it was just a real big disappointment. It truly was a disappointment. And I think any good Catholic uh, should avoid this movie. 100%. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. Um, it, you know, if people are going to be producing movies like this, do it correctly. Mel Gibson, when he made The Passion of the Christ, he made an absolutely beautiful, glorious movie that was based on facts. It was based on facts, and he showed everything. And it was an absolute, mind-blowing, amazing movie, and he stuck to the scriptures. He stuck to the story, he stuck to it to a T. All right, he didn't add stuff to it. He didn't add lib Jesus. Jesus wasn't telling jokes like a comedian. Uh, Jesus didn't have you know a cell phone pop out of his hand or something like that. Uh, if the producers of this movie had made it accurately and they'd shown the true angel of peace, a man, not a woman with a perm job, uh, if they had shown the children as they truly were not disrespectful. They were kind of disrespectful, talking back to their parents. Uh, they showed uh, the, Lucia's mom at one point beating Lucia, you know, off the cart because it had to do with Manuel, the oldest child that was missing, you know, in war. That never happened. She didn't beat Lucia, you know, and in the movie she was punching her and she was slapping her and she knocked her off the cart and she was yelling and screaming at her. That did not happen in real life. All right, none of that happened in real life. And I think that this was absolutely done terribly. But if the producers had done it correctly, they could have made an absolutely mind-blowing movie that would have converted souls, that would have generated within people a sense of the sacred, a sense of the supernatural, the beauty of the world. Think about it. Right now, we needed this. COVID-19, all the chaos going on in the world, all the the looting, the murders, the shooting, the robbings, the, the rioters, all the hate, all the anger, all of that out there. And if the producers had made an uplifting movie of Fatima 2020, it could have brought about great graces, wonderful change to the world. I truly believe that. But instead, what did they do? They added a bunch of garbage in. They left out the good stuff. They left out the true things here. Uh... And they went with like a Hollywood type of type of deal. And it was unfortunate. And I'm very disappointed in this movie. So that's how I'm going to do it. This is my review. Sorry to go on for almost 19 minutes. It made me, uh, like I said, upset. Uh, I think that this was just a, a waste of money. If I could get a refund from it, I would. But unfortunately, YouTube doesn't allow me to get refunds for rentals. Uh, so, anyways, guys, there it is. If you want to see a good movie about Fatima, either watch the 1951 version, whatever version that is, or watch the uh, 13th Day. Wonderful Fatima movie. But I would avoid Fatima 2020. All right, take care. God bless. Cheers.